Uh, Lucy, can I talk to you? Okay, I know you're new, but did you not get the pamphlet about being super weird around patients? I'm so sorry, Dr. Turk. I just really want patients to feel comfortable around us. Well, mission definitely not accomplished. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you get so desperate to connect with what you want to hear, and then you feel guilty and afterwards for not being real, right? Well, why don't you try some generic small talk? What? Like, where are you from? Hey, where are you from? Uh, Atlanta. Really? <laughs> I grew up in Atlanta. No way. What part of town? I didn't grow up in Atlanta. But see, we had a moment there, right? We connected. This is, this is weird. Truthfully, I grew up in the Hamptons, but not the rich white people Hamptons, uh, the black or the black rapper Hamptons, the fisherman chain smoking alcoholic diet 42 from alcohol poisoning Hamptons. Sometimes I wish I was from from, from Atlanta. I think I, I don't really know Atlanta. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks for the talk. Go Braves. Stop <laughs> it. Oh my god, I almost started laughing at you. <laughs> okay. All right. What's this from? Um, Scrubs. Scrubs. <clears throat> All right. Well, what uh, what did you think? What um, do you think about her? I think that she's socially awkward. Mm -hmm. um, probably doesn't have that filter going in her head, or maybe it goes goes off too late, so she maybe overshares or says something that she shouldn't say that makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> so maybe doesn't have, you know, people that aren't self-aware. Uh-huh, sure. Um, I thought it was pretty good, actually. I think you're right, uh, right on the right track with it, you know. Um, so, let's try it again. Let's see. Yeah, she's uh, almost a little ditzy, it seems, right? Yeah. A little sweet, very sweet, but like you say, almost uh, almost her mind's moving faster than her than her mouth. You know what I mean? So let's just try it again. Lucy, could I talk to you? Okay, I know you're new, but did you not get the pamphlet about being super weird around patients? I'm so sorry, Dr. Turk. I, I just really want patients to feel comfortable around us. Mission definitely not accomplished. You know what I mean? You get so desperate to connect that you say what you think they want to hear, but then you feel guilty right afterwards for not being real, right? Well, why don't you try some generic small talk? What? Like, where are you from? Hey! Where are you from? Atlanta. Really? I grew up in Atlanta. <laughs> no way. What part? I didn't grow up in Atlanta. But see, we had a moment there, right? We connected. Huh. Well, uh, that was weird. Truthfully, I grew up in the Hamptons. But not the rich white people black rapper Hamptons. The fisherman chain smoking alcoholic dead at 42 and from heart disease Hamptons. Sometimes I wish I was from Atlanta. I, I, I think I, I don't really know Atlanta. Okay, I'm gonna go. Thanks, thanks for the talk. Go Braves. <laughs> Stop it. I can't. <laughs> I think you've got it really good. When you get to your speech about, uh, I grew up in the Hamptons, but not the rich white people, black rapper Hamptons. That's uh, that's a really funny speech. It's almost it's very conversational. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's, think like you've said this a, a thousand times before. You've had to tell a thousand people before this. I grew up in the Hamptons, but not the blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, uh, yeah, it's like this is my spiel. Yes, exactly. Like, you know, like my from Kansas, and like, oh, yeah, Dorothy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, like, I feel a little in my head, so how would you get out of that? Because I, I think I have a good understanding for the scene and what's going on. Yeah, I do too. I just feel a little bit uh, 
you know, like a little heady with it. What do you mean by that? You mean you're watching yourself? Yeah, kind of. Like I, maybe I'm not like fully present with it. I'm just kind of, it's feeling like a little inauthentic for me just because I feel like I'm, maybe because it's planned out or I'm not really quite sure. Well, how can you get this, how can you be more, how can you more relate to what you're doing to this character? You know what I mean? What things that are going on in here can you say, oh yeah, that's a lot like me. You know what I mean? Um, like some of the awkward stuff. That's you? Yeah. Okay. Maybe um, wanting, I guess really, she just kind of wants approval. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I can really but that. also she's talking to her boss, right? Is this her yeah. boss? Uh -huh. So she's a little nervous, you know, because she wants to do good. She tried to do good. She kind of fucked up, you know. But uh, so you know, you're you're a little nervous talking to him. Maybe that's where the rambling comes from. You know what I mean? Um, you want to get out of your head. You need to listen to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, be be. Forget about what you're saying. You know what you're saying. You you want to say. You, you want to, you want to relate to me. You want to take the attention off of you and put it on to me. So really listen to what I'm saying rather than, you know, just thinking to yourself, oh, he's got a line. This is my line. Yeah. So take in what I'm saying, okay? And, uh, and we'll stay connected and see if that doesn't get you out of your head a little bit. Okay. Okay. Uh, have you ever been in a situation like this? Where you're talking to your a boss or an authority figure or something and you get a little nervous? Yeah. And, you know? <laughs> I think authority figures in general make me nervous a little bit. All right, well, just... then uh, that could be why you're in your head too. Mm -hmm. So let's try and put your attention on, on to me. Okay. All right. Let's just see if that doesn't do anything. Lucy! Can I talk to you? Okay, I know you're new, but did you not get the pamphlet about being super weird about patients? I'm sorry, Turk. I just, I really want patients to feel comfortable around us. Well, mission definitely not accomplished. You know what I mean? You, you get so desperate to connect uh, that you say what you think they want to hear, but then you feel guilty right after for being inauthentic. You know what I mean, right? Well, listen, why don't you try some generic small talk? What, like, where are you from? Yeah. Hey, where are you from? <laughs> Atlanta. Really? I grew up in Atlanta. No, no way. Where? What part? I didn't grow up in Atlanta. I, But see, we had a moment there, right? We connected. This is weird. Truthfully, I, I grew up in the Hamptons, but not rich white people, Black Rocker Hamptons, the fishermen, chain-smoking alcoholic dead at 42 from heart disease Hamptons. Sometimes I wish I was from Atlanta. I, I don't really know Atlanta. Okay. Well, I gotta go. Thanks for the talk. Go Braves. Stop it. I can't. Still in your head? A little bit. Yeah. There was moments of um, being more like just relaxed and listening to you. I think what That's happens too is, is because you, you're still struggling with the lines. Yeah. You know, when you're struggling with lines, you're in your head. Yeah. You know? Uh, so, uh, I thought it was really good. I think it's really good. I think your audition for this is really good. I would uh, definitely call you in for it. You're right, you're very right for it, you know. Um, so if I was like putting this on camera or, you know, where I'm like filming it and it's not an audition, what would you say to work on it to get just get off get off book more yeah absolutely the first thing you have to do is get off book okay the, 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 you can't you can't be in the moment if you're reading the lines okay you have to that's probably the most important thing is know your lines and then we can talk and then we can w react off of each other you know what i mean because we're looking at each other, we're paying attention to each other, kind of feeling each other. Yeah. If 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 I have to do this every time, right away I'm going to go right back into my head because <laughs> now I have to. This is what I have to say, and it takes me away from that. 
So very hard in an audition, obviously, you know, but, uh, and I think people take that into account when you go into audition, you know what I mean? Um, that if I was watching an audition, I would think to myself, well, this is really good, it's right on, uh, right on track. I'll call you back, you'll have a, a little time to go over the lines, and, uh, and I think that you'll bring it in and do a little more with it, because this is just your first pass at it, and look how good you did. Right. You know what I mean? So if, I were, if you were gonna audition it, first thing I would do is try and make it more personal, Okay, so you know who, who uh, Turk is, and not Turk from the show, yeah. but make him purse somebody in your life that makes you feel a little uncomfortable, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, some authority figure or a teacher or your father or, you know what I mean, somebody that makes you nervous. And now, uh, that's, uh, all of a sudden, that's who you're talking to. Yeah. You're not talking to Bob, you know, <laughs> you're talking to this guy. And when it's that personal, then you have that much more going on, okay? Um, make the patience personal in your own mind. You know, who did I talk to today? Who did I fuck up with? Oh, my God, it was that little old lady in room 103. And, you know, I should have never said that. I freaked her out, whatever it is, you know. But make it more personal yeah. to yourself. So when you're saying, you know, I just want to connect with people, you have something, something. you have something concrete in your head that you that you're working off of. Okay. Right, let's try one thing, okay. just for fun. Imagine you have a really big pimple on the end of your nose, <laughs> okay. okay? And let's just see what happens. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, the whole thing could be done like this. You know, I just, I don't know what I wanted to just connect with people. You know what I mean? So give yourself something to work with, and that might help to get out of your head, okay. away from the lines and more focused on something else. So, Lucy, can I talk to you, please? Okay, I know you're new, but did you not get the pamphlet about being super weird around patients? Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Turk. I just I really want patients to feel comfortable around us. Well, mission definitely not accomplished. You know what I mean? I mean, I just I, I so badly want to connect with them on a personal level that sometimes I say something that I don't really mean, but then I, I start feeling bad about what I said, you know? Well, why don't you just, uh, you know, make some generic small talk. What? Like, uh, where are you from? Yeah. Okay, where are you from? Uh, Atlanta. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm from Georgia, too. Oh, no, no way! Where, 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 where from? I, uh, I didn't grow up in Atlanta. But I, I see we had a connection. <laughs> well, that's really good. Uh huh. Truthfully, I, I grew up in um, the Hamptons, but not but not the rich white people, black rapper Hamptons. More like the um, poor fisherman, alcoholic. I'm gonna die from heart disease. Hamptons. Um, uh, sometimes I wish I was from Atlanta. I don't. I don't really know anything. Okay, listen, I, uh, I gotta go. Oh, uh, thanks for the talk. Go, Braves. Stop it. I can't. I like that. What a, it brought some really funny stuff, actually. Yeah, it was different. I liked it, too. What, 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 uh, now, could that help you get out of your head a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I think just having something else... To focus on? To focus on. Right. A lot of times I, I love to use props. As an actor, personally, I like to use props, and I use them for that, for that reason. If I'm playing with something over here while I'm doing my dialogue, it kind of takes the attention off of my dialogue. And my, my thought and focus is now here, and what I'm saying is coming out of my action with my object. So sometimes I'll do things like that to help me get through it. Uh, I thought that was really uh, your best your best take. Yeah, and then really I just was kind of stuff. like trusting myself a little more with the lines too, because mm -hmm. I know for me, um, it is really distracting for me. Some people are really good at line pulling, and I just. And now, did you have fun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, I had fun that time. The other it's, ones, I was kind of like, well, it's not wrong what I'm doing, but. Yeah. It's really, I think it's important to have fun, you know, to just get up there and have fun and give it your best shot to do what you do with it. You know, yeah. and then the rest is out of your hands. 
You know, the decision to hire you or not hire you is five guys away. You know what I mean? So the best thing you can do is come in there, try and have some fun, make some friends, uh, know your material as well as you can, and give your best reading, you know. I thought you did a great, really good job. Yeah, no, that is a good, a good trick to just think of something, if you know you're struggling with that, to kind of... Sure, reset. it could be an itch, you know, it could be... I just want to, I just want to, you know, I want the patients to connect with me, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever it is you want to give yourself. It's just a little something else added that nobody knows is going on but you, Yeah. you know, it would give you something, it adds another element to whatever it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it made me self-conscious, which I think would be a natural reaction with your boss and you know that they think you're stupid because you did this. So, like, I just wasn't adding, that wasn't there before. Right, there you go. Or it was actually, it was there, the self-consciousness, only it was put into good use. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that time, I was, it was self-conscious, I think it. Is norm, it was what you would be in that situation. Right, there you go. Yeah, so it put me... Sometimes you have to be, you know, you, you, you audition, you're nervous. Mm -hmm. The actual part is that you've got some kind of nervous thing going on, and I... I had nothing to do with it. I don't know what you're talking about, you know. And if you're nervous going in there, work with it. Use it, you know what I mean? Instead of freaking out about, oh, I'm nervous. All I can think about is, you know. And just kind of go with it and work with it in your character. Bring it to your character. Well, it would be something that you would say, like, for homework. Like, if I, not necessarily even with this particular scene, like, something that um, me, like, anybody would need to work on focus on after after this scene like say that again what's the like question? what would be some homework like doing this scene for this maybe? scene yeah well uh you well your homework is really to give yourself a backstory you make your make your co character complete especially because you got two pages of somebody named uh, uh you know lucy yeah so, so it's wide open, you know, and now you, you know that she's from the Hamptons. She's from a certain part of the Hamptons. You know, this is, uh, know who your friends are, know what your likes and your dislikes are. Build your character yourself because the information's not there. So do it, you know what I mean? What's your whole name? Lucy what? Lucy, your middle name. You got a father, you got a mother, you got a brother and a sister. You know, more complete. That's what I would do. Okay. There's not much you can do as far as auditioning goes because you know it. Yeah. You're you're right in you're right on target with it. So the best thing you could do for that is to know your lines, right? The second best thing you can do is to build it, build it from the ground up. Who is she? What is she? You know, where does she live? Where is she coming from? She have a boyfriend. What's her favorite food? Anything like that, you know. That's your right. The idea is you're you're you are a person. You're not just a character, yeah. but you're a whole person. And try and your homework would be go home and write me a backstory. How she got here. You know, name, complete name, education, whatever, whatever you can think of. And then when you stand up in front of me for the audition, you're so full of of this character. You know what I mean? And you know your lines. You know how she's going to react. You know what she likes. You know what she doesn't like. You know? Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, I know it does. Yeah. The, the very top of the scene, because you have the first lines, and she I feel like I was just kind of waiting the first couple times I did it. Mm -hmm. Should I keep myself busy with something? Or, you know what I mean? Sure, why not? You sure could. When he says, well, Lucy, can I talk to you? You could be doing something. You know, you could have a little... You know, you could have your sides. If it's an audition, you could just have your sides and be like, you know, Lucy, can I talk to you? Yeah. What's up? You know? And so you have, but don't just be scribbling on a piece of paper. Actually be writing like really. something. <laughs> you know, so that you really are distracted. You're writing, you know, patient, you know, Miss Luella Smith in 132. Gave her two aspirin. She told me she had a. Yeah, what do you need? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anything like that is going to help you. 
So certainly I would do that. But in an audition, you have to be careful because you can't, there's not much room to play with as far yeah. as props and things. So if you can use this, I would, you know, just a little something like that. Oh, I can't wait to get off work today. God, what a day. Huh? We, I'm so sorry, Doctor. You know what I mean? And yeah. So you, you're coming from somewhere? You have somewhere you're going? These are all, this is the world you create. The whole world you create. They don't give it to you here. Yeah. So then it's not just, it's not just happening out of thin air. There's like a, Exactly. Right before the scene starts. There's a whole thing going on, a whole day going on in the whole life of this character. That's what you bring to it as an actor. That's your job, you know. And once you get the job and you're, you know, getting ready to film it, I would expect you to know all that stuff, you know.